Hi, third graders. My name is Ms. Thomas, and welcome to your distance learning experience. This video will go over all the materials you have received and show you how to use these materials so that you can do your absolute best work from home. Let's get started. Let's do an overview of the social studies materials that you've received. First, you'll find your packet overview, then your weekly schedule, and your studies weekly publications. Here is your schedule for social studies. You'll do social studies for two times out of the week for 30 minutes each time. Here's your distance learning plan. Your learning plan is the first page inside of your packet. Here you'll find an overview of the packet, the pace of learning. So this is how much social studies you'll be doing and how often. You'll find online access to materials. There's also a schedule of your learning. So each week is highlighted. And should you need support, it's provided as well. Here's your student schedule. You'll find your grade level in current week, topics that are covered, materials needed, what needs to be read, and videos available to watch. On your student schedule, you'll find a QR code. The QR code or the Bitly link above will help you get straight to the videos available for the lesson. Lastly, you'll find the tasks that need to be completed. Here's an example of a studies weekly issue. On the front cover, you'll find the title, and the week of the issue. As you read, be sure to look for important details that will help you complete your tasks. If you're using Studies Weekly online, be sure to use the highlighting tool. Otherwise, use the highlighter and capture important information directly on your printed issue. The last page of your Studies Weekly is where you will find most of your tasks. Be sure to refer back to your student schedule for specific directions. Studies Weekly Videos. When using your student schedule, you can scan the QR code to take you directly to the video available. Scan your QR code using the camera on a cell phone, tablet, or computer. You can also type the bit.ly link above the QR code to get video access. If you have your Clever login information, you can also access all of the videos available for that particular issue. Studies Weekly has videos that will help you better understand what you're learning. These videos will give you additional knowledge and a visual representation of what's being explained in your week's issue. You have received multiple issues of Studies Weekly. We're only going to use 10 of these issues for our distance learning together. Here are the names of the issues you will need. More decisions, week 11 on your studies weekly, economic incentives influence decisions, week 12 of studies weekly, competition in business, week 13 of studies weekly, support your local businesses, week 14 of studies weekly, what brought settlers to Michigan, Week 19 in Studies Weekly. Take a Stand. Week 21 in Studies Weekly. Take a Stand Again. Week 22 of Studies Weekly. Why Michigan? Week 23 of Studies Weekly. The Great Lakes. Week 9 of Studies Weekly. Symbols of the U.S. Government. Week 5 of Studies Weekly. One way to access Studies Weekly is by going through Clever.com, then clicking Log In as a Student. You can either use your QR code or search for your school to continue logging in. Once you've selected your school, click the Log In with Active Directory to enter your username and password for Clever. 
Once you've gained access to Clever, scroll all the way down until you find the Studies Weekly tile. Once you select Studies Weekly, be sure to choose Social Studies. There are two different ways you can access Studies Weekly online. One way is to go to studiesweekly.com. Click Log In. Then click Log In using Clever. You can either scan your QR code or if you don't have your QR code, you can search for your school to continue logging in. Once your school has been selected, continue logging into Clever with your username and password. Once you've gained access to Studies Weekly Online, this is the screen you will see. Be sure that your name is shown in the top right corner. If you click the Profile button, you can keep track of all the coins that you've earned. And did I mention you have a pet rat? Complete tasks, earn coins, and take good care of it. Social Studies is at the top of the page. Science is located at the lower half. Here, you can select your grade level. Then, choose your publication. You'll see you have tasks and opportunities to earn even more coins each week. Choose your week and get started. All the articles are found on the left. These articles are the same as in the printed materials that you already have. I could choose to have the articles read to me here. And if I click this turtle button, I can control the speed of what's being read. You can also watch a video at the end of the article and don't forget to collect your coins. Everything you need to complete your social studies distance learning plan has been provided through printed materials. If you would like to enhance your learning experience, let's review some technology that will assist in this. Using the QR code and bit.ly links will take you directly to studies weekly videos. You can also use your Clever login information to access Study Weekly online. Here, you'll find your week's current issue, along with many added benefits, like an audio reader, where the issues will be read aloud to you. Studies Weekly is also available in Spanish online. And you can also earn digital coins when you complete tasks online. You can do it. Maintain a positive attitude. Although this is different, being away from your teachers and friends, do your best. Stay in touch with your teacher. If there are any questions you have, make sure you contact your teacher for help. Take care of yourself and family, and we look forward to seeing you when school resumes. Take care.